And it is finally time for Kubera this week. Um, I say that from my perspective because I have been a little bit busy this week. A friend from outside of uni um, has been up for a couple of days, so I haven't had a chance to record. As such, this is going to be a bit of a shorter one because, uh, well, it's as of recording this 1.30 of the day this is going up. PM. So, <clears throat> we're going to make this probably only two episodes. Just so I can get it edited and uploaded in time. Hopefully, in time. I really should have planned ahead, but I also didn't know he was turning up until, well, the, the, the day he did. So, yeah, there's that. Anyway, let's go. Mom? Hmm? Is this... Ah, uh, it's the Magic Union. But why is it so quiet? I guess the magicians can just stand by and watch all those halves tear the place up. I wouldn't be of any help even if I went out there. Damn it. Why am I so afraid of halves when I could beat them with my power? Oh no. The halves made it this far? What should I do? Should I run away? Where? Why isn't there anyone here? Someone, please come out and help me! Who is he, Braham? My Vardy Braham. If you can't even kill a single Impani, then what good are you, little brother? Part 2. Episode 80. The one standing before me. 10. Ugh. I can't beat him in this form, but if I turn into my Sura form here, I'll blow my cover to the humans. I'll just run for now. I have no choice. The Earth Barrier turned on a minute ago. Are there any Sura left? I don't think so, but we'll have a look around a bit more. I can't imagine how much it'll cost to restore the city here. At least we can always just go back to Elos. I'm telling you, I really can kill an Impani. I just thought that was a half back there. Some things never change. What do you mean? I told you, I can't kill them, just trust me. Ah, sir, you found your brother. I'm relieved to see that he's safe. Thank you, I'm happy to see my brother safe too. Why don't you listen to me if you're so happy? How did you know you, where your brother was? Uh, I know the magician who was with him for his guardian who, for his graduation quest. I saw some magic that would, only that magician could have used, so I went to check it out, and here he was. Wait, you mean there you are, Lute Syroth? Ah, you made it back. Thank you for helping me find my brother so quickly, Asha Rahiro. Don't mention it. <laughs> oh, great. I over again. I thought we would be even if I gave her the modified hide of bondage back. Is that the hide of bondage that you have on now? Ah, yeah. My brother asked me to modify it for him. I ended up putting it on and now it won't come off. I can only modify it once a month since it's a god class item. Since I'm responsible for it now, I'll keep it until next month. <laughs> Looks like sometimes even a monkey falls off a tree. I'm pretty screwed up a modification. So you can't shower for a month? Looks like all those girls who are following you around are just gonna run off. <laughs> it's stuck to my clothes, not my body, little brother. Lute Syroth, quarter, 45 years old. Older brother of Ron Syroth, head of the creation brand Atrum. Priest of Eloth, creation. Magic rank A, ranked 22nd place. His ranking is lower than his actual abilities because he failed to comply with the requirements of the magic test. He won second place for the N7 championships, but for some reason did not participate again. Looks like you still spit out what are you thinking, just like before. S sorry, sorry. 
So, the priest of Earth wants to see you for a minute. What? Sierra wants to see me? Yeah, the priestess of chaos is currently missing. But the priestess, the priest of death is here now. So I think she wants to speak with you together about the situation. Alright, of course I'll go. Usha, please. See you later. See you! Ah, what about me, brother? Hey, Asha, you're probably wondering where and what I've been doing, right? Tell me later. I'm not in the mood to talk right now. Alright, all finished! How the heck did you all hurt your head at the same time? Look, we need to talk, guys. Are you guys all purposely giving me the silent treatment? Hmm, this is a good cigar. Could you please tell me what's going on? It's driving me nuts. Ah, why are you all being like this too, cigar? Huh? Stop it, Hera. Everyone's all stunned by that sudden attack. We almost died. That's why. That half dragon from Matera just showed up. Wow, no way. I can't believe he flew halfway across the planet that quickly. He was probably wandering around using the crescent gate without really thinking about it. I'll have to really get it hurt. Once to smile up. Still, it's a good thing we managed to get what we were after, at least. It wasn't a waste of time, right? I guess so. But what were you doing, Marina? I saw that the sky turned red before. I just fought against the humans since they provoked me. It's a lie. So in the end... So in the end, you didn't do anything, Marina. You just stood by and watched when Godhava and Agni fought too, didn't you? Although, I guess not even a powerful Rakshasa could get involved in a fight like that. Do you know what happened to Godhava? No, I don't. Look at her face, man. Look at her. Lying as easily as she breathes. We headed for the city as soon as Agni disappeared. Why? Is there a problem? He's gone without a trace! Really? I think it doesn't get much more pathetic than that. Did he go dig a hole to crawl into? Do you know why God Harbor turned into a Sura? I'm not sure. If he, if I knew how he did it, I would have done it too. I'm asking about the reason, not how. I don't know. How am I supposed to understand the mind of a self set dialed pacifist? Anyway, we've taken care of everything, so let's head back. There were a few unexpected variables, but at least we got what we came for. Now we can finally end this fight with one strike before it keeps dragging on. So hang in there, everyone. Just wait, Ananta. No matter how much more blood needs to be spilled on this path, in the end, you will be the one laughing. Chapter 22. The one standing before me. End. Next chapter. The good. Hmm. It's been 10 minutes, but I don't really feel good about only doing one episode. But. Uh, you know what? I'm sorry it's a short one. But again, uh, it's my own fault for not um, having stuff recorded earlier and leaving it this late. But we are going to end this here. Um, we will get back to, obviously, you know, more episodes next week. Assuming no more, you know, out-of-nowhere plans appear. Um, but I don't think they will, because um, I have exams starting next week. So, I won't be doing jack shit. But anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed. Um, as always, I've been Animosity, you've been you, and I hope to catch you all next time for another video. Ta-ta. Bye now.